today I am back and I am filming finally my one year update on my conch piercing. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that, you know, like when is your one year coming up and things like that. So I finally decided to go ahead and get this out for you. Um, so just kind of going through the basics again, I like doing this for people who are new to my channel and if you are, welcome. Um, but just to kind of like fill you guys in in case this is like the first conch video that you've seen. Of course, I will link the other ones below, but I have my little post-it with all my information. So I got my conch originally pierced with a white opal prong little like gemstone thing and it was a 14 gauge librette stud which basically means that the front twists in um, so the opal stone twisted in and then the back I had a flat back so yes and it was titanium jewelry I went ahead and changed the librette stud to actually a ball instead of my flat back because the flat back was like getting caught on my sunglasses and stuff like that but the ball has been working out, it doesn't get caught on as much stuff, and I really like kind of the ball look a little bit more than I did my opal. So that's pretty much about like the jewelry and stuff like that. Um, I got it done with a needle of course, and yeah. So let's just go ahead and get into the update. As of now, I would say it's still healing even though it is a year later. You know, I still clean it at least twice a week um, at the most I would say which sounds kind of gross but obviously I'm like cleaning it in the shower and stuff like that but like as far as sea salt soaks and my salt spray I'm really not cleaning it that often anymore because it dries it out too much um, as I've said in like previous videos if you over clean it'll dry it out too much and cause more damage than good so I'm trying to get that good medium um, and that's been about two times a week. So yeah, I've been cleaning it like that. I still get, you know, the crusties sometimes. Um, not as often as when I first got it pierced, but of course I'm still getting it because it's still healing. Um, and I do sometimes get, um, and this might be like TMI, but I get like the little goop, you know. Um, but it's not like a huge deal to me. Like it doesn't really gross me out. And it's not infected or anything. Like the goop doesn't mean it's infected. It just means that it's cleaning itself, which is what your body's supposed to do anyway. In addition to that, I luckily, fingers crossed, um, that now that I'm saying this, it doesn't happen. Um, I haven't had any bumps or any like hypertrophic scarring or keloids or anything like that. Um, it's been like a good run with this guy. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can go ahead and see it up close. So this is it now. I haven't cleaned it yet today, which is why it might look a little like crusty. You see how it kind of has like that white crust around it. Um, that is just you know from the healing itself and what the sea salt does um it doesn't hurt or anything like that i think that is just like natural bodily stuff um but yeah as you guys can see my ear is no longer swollen i do still have in the same length labrette stud on the back now it's just like a little ball as well instead of my flat back so yeah within the year um just to kind of like say it all over again i changed my jewelry um, but however, it's still 14 gauge. I didn't downsize. Um, I actually contemplated at one point because I was like, you know what? I really don't want the, it to be this big. But then I kind of like retracted that thought and I decided to keep the 14 gauge. Overall though, the whole year has been pretty painless. I want to say it, this piercing wasn't really hard at all. You know, you just have to keep up with it like every piercing. Um, it does still kind of swell a little. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was just kind of like messing with it and it just kind of turned red. It's not swollen, but it just turned red. So it still is a very touchy area but nothing unbearable I would say and yes yeah, so I've been loving this piercing um yeah that's basically my one year update I plan on changing it to a hoop when it is completely healed like I really am tempted to change it to a hoop now but I know it's not healed so not gonna do that yet but when it does I of course will go ahead and do an update for that as well so definitely look out for that and yeah, so I think that's everything for my one year update. I talked about the pain so far, which has been very minimal. Um, I talked about healing, crust, cleaning, all the basic information. I think I hit all the notes. If I missed anything, please comment down below and let me know because I don't want to short you guys of any information. And yeah, I think that's everything for my one year update. Woohoo! Can't believe it's been a year. Like. 
this year just like flew by it feels like yesterday I just got it pierced so anyway that is the piercing and I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye guys